coffee time with John. <laughs> you know, we are all in this physical life thing together. We're all in it to to live and love and, and experience. And our experience that we that we have is based upon our belief. If you believe the world is out to get you and you're focused on people ripping you off, then you will see the world that way and you will treat people that way. When you believe in conspiracy theories and go down the rabbit hole of people are out to get you or people are just ripping you off, then you will see the world that way and you will experience the world that way. And when you go down those fear-based routes and you follow down those dark pathways of uh, anxiety based upon uh, conspiracy or a belief that the world is out to get you, you will oftentimes become the negative for someone else. You will oftentimes become the, the person who is reaching out and saying and doing the harmful thing. And you need to be reflective of, of how you feel because that's, that's what you're creating in your world, your feelings. Your feelings are a product of your belief. And if you believe things are horrible, you're going to feel terrible. You're going to feel tense and stressed out. But reaching out to attack others because of your belief with having no information about in their intent or who they are or anything about them or sometimes just to uh, validate your own theories and expect them to change their beliefs for your theories and specifically conspiracy theories. Um, then you're the one who is the negative. You're the one who is, who is creating that experience into your world. And I'm, I'm a human. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a person just like everybody else. And when someone reaches out and implies that I'm a fraud... You know, the loving thing for me to do is, is understand that's their fear. But the human thing for me to do is to get hurt by that. Is to have the experience of going, wow. And then, you know, you get your own little, you know, hurt feelings. Or you get your defensive nature popping up. And when someone comes to you and says, you know, your belief is wrong because of this conspiracy theory then you you have you have this moment where no matter what you say they're they're not going to believe you because you're the bad in their mind and oftentimes in those situations they'll start to write a story around the experience um to give two examples and these were messages to me comments to me last night on the channel one of them somebody asked me you know I said basically said I'd like to ask a question I just don't know how to do that do you only answer questions that money's attached you know, like like the like the fraudulent Oracle of Delphi is what was said and so she was implying that I was a fraud. And, she, and actually in her comments, she actually said, when I saw your 50% off video, I, you know, she basically, basically implied that I was a, a fraud. Now, I understood this person obviously has an issue uh, with spirituality and money. And it, it's fascinating to me that um, rather than realizing it's her issue, and that she's having a, this view of people who make money doing spiritual work 
uh, are bad or evil or fraudulent. Um, that's her belief, right? <laughs> but she hadn't taken the time to understand my, my, my life. You know, I left a job making lots of money to do my spiritual work full time. And, but she doesn't see that because her, her life view is skewed. Her life view is skewed by her belief that spirituality and money should not be allowed to be together. That they should not be a, a situation. The, in, the interesting thing about it was, had, had two more minutes of time been taken, and she'd have looked at the almost 500 videos on the channel, she would realize that every, almost, almost every video on the channel was me answering questions. And <laughs> none of them were attached with, to money. The comments come in and I answer them. I add them to the video list. I put them out, right? But it, the point of that is that, is that they, they came with the expectation of being ripped off and that I was a fraud, right? They came with preconceived notions based upon what I would consider a false belief. And for me, the false belief is that spirituality is um, something that money should not be involved in. And on, in some theories, personal development theories, yes. But people who are teaching, people who are teaching and, and have given up all physical world um, uh, means of making a living to dedicate all of their time and I, and I literally mean all of the time to uh, doing the spiritual work are deserving of roofs over their head as well and the, the argument that, that people make with me about this exact topic is this they say um, you know, money is the root of all evil but the quote is not money is the root of all evil it's the love of money is the root of many evils. And if, if honest to God, if I was into the love of money, I wouldn't be doing this work. I would not be making these videos. I would not be putting out the, the, the hours upon hours upon hours that I put into every day to do this work. You know, I, when I was a corporate speaker, I could, I could literally leave my house one day and come back the next day with more money than I could possibly make in three months doing this, four months doing this, five months doing this sometimes. But the expectation that spirituality and money should be separate is, is the paradigm with which this person is choosing to judge people and it's that judgment that is unloving it's uncaring you know take the time to understand people's intentions um, the next thing is is that uh, the conspiracy theory person she was looking for me to validate her beliefs about vaccinations I'm very happy with my choice of getting vaccinated I'm very happy with my choice that, that the people who were creating the vaccinations were of good intent. I'm very happy with my choice that I understand some people went out and made money off that vaccination. I don't care what they did with it. I am very happy with my choice of getting vaccinated. And I have yet to see any, any proof anywhere except for on Fox News that the vaccinations are bad for us. I have not seen any proof of that anywhere else, except for the one place that, that wants to attack the people who are putting out the vaccinations. So for me, I look at it like this. Now, the person who contacted me uh, wanted me to change my view about vaccinations. And she had a whole big theory about how vaccinations were bad for you and how they didn't work and all this stuff. I've been vaccinated and boosted and I've never had COVID. 
and I've never had the experience of COVID. She has decided vaccinations are bad and horrible. She's had COVID twice and has been vaccinated. She's had a, an, an experience whereby, you know, everything that she's believing into the world is being shown to her. Um, she, I, I asked a question on her comment and I came back later on and there was another message saying how disappointed she was me that I deleted her comment. Well, there was no other comment except for the first one. But her conspiracy theory mind said that I obviously deleted her comment. No comment was ever deleted. No comment was ever even shown to me or came across my feed. So the only time I have ever taken anything off of the channel, ever, is when they get deep into conspiracy theories or they start t preaching fire and brimstone. And then I don't delete their comment. I hide them from the channel. If I was going to be offended by something that was said and and uh, react to it, it, would, it wouldn't be to delete the, the comment. It would be to hide you from the channel. Because the channel is here for, for two things. One, for me to express my truth. And hopefully somebody will come along and go, oh, yeah, that, that just feels right. And the sirens are coming right now. Here they go. <laughs> They're coming to take you away, huh? <laughs> um, the other thing that the, that the channel is for is literally to... to <laughs> kind of distracting. The other thing the channel is for is to, is to literally um, be a place where people who are coming to the channel can have a safe place, a safe place to discuss their spirituality and their beliefs up front. It is not a place for someone to dictate what somebody else should believe. It is not a place for someone to come here and preach fire and brimstone. It is not a, a place for someone to come and call people names or imply that they are frauds. It, I, will, I just won't let that negativity on the channel because that that is antithetical to what this channel is about. The core element of this channel is about love. It's about being that loving essence, being that space, being in a place where we are creating our experience. And when someone comes in creating negativity and darkness and calling names, uh, then then I have I, I block them. I hide them from the channel because it, I don't want you, the audience, to deal with that. The two comments that are up right now, one, they, haven't, they haven't crossed the line for me yet of blocking them. Because I, I, I always try to give people a chance. I always try to give people an idea, a way of looking at what they're doing and what they're saying and seeing how it's affecting other people. Um, and so those comments are still up. But when it comes down to it, if it continues to go down a dark, a dark trip like this, and somebody keeps trying to dictate their beliefs that I truly believe are conspiracy theories, then I will block them from the channel because I don't think it helps anybody for for them to peddle their fears and their anxieties on the channel because those fears and anxieties are based in nothing. They're based in no factual evidence. They're based in the idea of they themselves being afraid and thinking somebody's out to get them and I want I want everyone to realize that I am also human and coming at me when I am dedicating everything to this spiritual work everything in my life is is geared around this everything in my life is geared around this but coming at me and calling me a fraud when I've given up so much when I've given up so much to do this, it that that's hurtful. That's hurtful. Um, and I really think that we all need to look at how we interact with the world around us, based upon our beliefs, and realize whether we ourselves are in fear or we ourselves are in love. And the two people that I've mentioned in this in this 
video are definitely in deep fear of being taken advantage of or deep fear of being wrong. And that's, that's their life. They get to create that experience. But I myself, um, I choose to love and I choose to give the opportunity for you to see my point of view without you judging me. I don't take your judgments. I don't, I don't accept them in any way, shape, or form. I do not accept the fear you're trying to offer me. But, yeah, that first, in, that first comment was hurtful. It's painful. And I felt it. Because I'm human too. And I really think it's important that we realize that we have effect on people around us. And I know this is not the normal video that I do on this channel, but I had a hard time sleeping last night because I was called a fraud and I was, and I was you know, basically uh, impl implied that I was deleting things. And I, you know, I, I had someone, some people say some things that were not kind or loving. And that energy, I'm, very, I'm a very empathic person, that energy I feel. And it, isn't pleasant, especially when it's directed at me. So I'm not doing this video to get people to say, you know, to defend me or anything like that. I'm doing this video just to express the experience that I had as a potential learning mechanism for somebody else to realize the impact they have in the world. And I think seeing the impact it has on me uh, hopefully will show others how they're impacting the world and how they, they can impact you know anyone so that's my thought on this um, don't get don't get me wrong I'm okay <laughs> it's all good I'm still sitting on my back deck in a beautiful day drinking my coffee it is a beautiful time and I'm about to go into the studio here in just a minute and start doing all my private sessions today. So, um, it's all good, it's all good. Just make sure you're not hurting people along the way and you're loving them instead. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon, see ya, bye. Thank you my friends for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you've subscribed and you like it, you share it, but also comment below it. Let's get this community talking about these topics and, and spreading this information out far and wide so we can change the world for the better. Thank you.